Well, as per usual in these season finales, the league title is already wrapped up. Get in. Our only challenge now is to make sure that we beat Barcelona and Valencia in our final two games of the season to get us 104 points in total and to let us finish with more points than we have ever gotten in this save before. Ignore the fact that we lost another game. Hey guys and welcome back to the 42nd episode of the FM21 Real Madrid save where today it is the series finale, the season finale and we are facing Valencia away from home and Barcelona at home in the final two games of the league season and since it is the series finale you gotta subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, come on, like if you've gotten to this point and you haven't clicked that button yet, it's gotta be done. Can we also get 10 likes to celebrate this amazing series? I appreciate all the support that I've gotten on every single one of these videos, even if you've just liked one video or you've watched every single one of them, I appreciate each and every single one of you, but we need to refocus on the league and try and get 104 points to get ourselves a wee bit of a silver lining to end this season as we have done all right off camera with the exception of this one loss 4-2 they won that well they ended up with a 2-0 lead at one point we brought it back to 2 all but then they took it to 4-2 it was unfortunate we still haven't lost a single home game all of this series our only last one is against Barcelona of course what a way to try and keep that record but let's just try and make sure that we win both of these games the rest of the matches that we played very good results a 4-0 win to the, ta the side that beat us in the Spanish Cup final last year again I don't want to try and mispronounce their name but surely we're going in with a lot of form as we face Valencia away from home the team that we have actually never beaten away from home I've just realized we in both years we lost to them out, away from home. This is this is a revelation and a half. We have some redeeming to do. If we take a look at this one, yeah, we, we've never beaten Valencia away from home. There's a first time for everything, and today is that day. Let's come away with a win. Let's get a good result. Let's take Sancho off because he's tired. Who else can we can we bring on? Zaniolo can play in that cam role. This is this is stuff. That should have been organized. I swear I edited the lineup. Like in my defense, I swear I did it. I just clearly have not. And Didi on the yeah no okay that makes sense actually suspension yeah okay let's go through it. Nunes, Vinicius Junior, Zaniolo, R Cristiano Ronaldo, Valverde, Camavinga, Militao, Garcia, Ramos, Mendy, and Courtois. We've got a lot of players out. Sancho's tired. We've got Bastoni injured. Varane suspended. We've got Dybala injured still. Is he going to make it to... No, he's not going to play at all the, for the rest of the season. No, we're even putting Hazard onto the bench because Sancho is quite tired. And, you know, I think we can stick our captain in there. Let's let's give him a run and hope that we can win against Val Valencia for the first time away from home. I'm so happy that I've learned that because that is now in another element. You know, it's, it's hard to get people watching the whole episode when there's kind of literally nothing to play for but now there is something to play for there's two things to play for the win the diff the 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 the, 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 the where's the english words that i'm looking for the 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 conquering and that's not the word i'm looking for the just just beating valencia away from home i was trying to think of a better word like a more descriptive descriptive word couldn't think of it but it's it's yeah we've gone with conquering and then just said beating and we haven't even scored there after my terrible English performance, but we're on the attack once again, the chances are over. Yeah, yeah, okay. I shouldn't have gotten too excited. Also, of course, we want to get that 104 points. So that then, this is technically going to be the best league season I consider last year to be, but slightly better because we didn't lose as many games, and we could still lose more games here. But I'm confident that we're going to get a good result against Valencia. You know what? We haven't even drawn against Valencia away from home. So let's just make sure that that definitely happens. And as a bonus, let's get the win. You know, my, my goal is definitely the win. But a, a draw is starting to become a little bit nicer as we think about it. Ugh, Vinicius Jr. can't get on the end of that ball. It's a poor one from Mendy. But he does a good job to win it back. 
And he's got options in the middle, finds Nunez, but he can't quite score. Nunez currently the top goal scorer by quite some distance. I imagine that man is going to stay there till the very end of the season. I wouldn't see any player catching up to him. I think he's got a good like 10 goals on everyone behind him as well. And I think Ronaldo may be the second or third next one. I don't even think he touched him there. Sorry, I'm talking about random stuff. Can we get action replays or something like that? That's That was a blatant dive. I don't think Garcia touched him at all, but... Not my cool, I guess, referee, but probably just the way that Football Manager shows their animations. But I'm going to be mad about it nonetheless. Zaniolo into Casemiro, back to Zaniolo. He's looking for a ball forward. He can't find one, so he plays a short one to Mendy. I like that. That's calm and composed. Mendy, I don't like that. That was not calm and composed. You should have taken notes from Zaniolo. Yeah, now you've got another chance. There we go. Calm and composed. He took notes. He saw what I was talking about. He understood. And now we're looking a lot better, although we did lose it just then, but I'm expecting us to win it back, as we have just done. Kamavinga, he gives it straight back to them, and this could be their opportunity, but Kamavinga wins it back, and now Nunes, the gap, the gap had opened up, like, what's something with a big gap? I don't know, the, the, the only metaphor I can think of is if a meteorite hit your roof, that would make a big gap, um, but it opened up, and the goalkeeper closed the gap. Like, if a meteorite's coming for your house, and then you hit it away with a baseball bat, these are terrible metaphors, let's tell them we're not able to perform and move on, just try and move on from that first half, and the metaphors and analogies that I'm coming up with there, I can never tell, is it an analogy or a metaphor, I think it's an analogy, metaphors... I don't know, I, I don't care, because Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo has just scored his 25th goal of the season to put us 1-0 up, in a game that we have dominated, by the way. Vinicius Jr. with a great ball, actually, that is brilliant vision to link up with his winger partner, and to see that he's making that run, that is experience beyond his years, but that is not experience beyond Ronaldo's years, because he's ancient in the save, but it doesn't matter because he's still scoring goals for fun, and that adds another one to his tally, a very impressive tally. For a man that is, as I said before, absolutely ancient. But could we add to it? Vinicius Jr. Oh, that is tasty. <sighs> I made the steak, uh, the steak metaphor or analogy. See, I'm not sure. I make so many. Is that an analogy or metaphor? Anyway, I made the steak comparison the other day. If that was a steak, that's already been salted. That's been fried. That is a beautiful, tasty steak. I want that in and around my mouth. Great stuff. That no, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, let's let's calm it down, Rex. So let's let's not try and clip stuff for people to use out of context. But that's definitely kept me back down to earth. Brought me back down to earth. I think it needed to do that. They needed to score that so that I didn't say any more stupid stuff. Like you know, yeah, I'm not going to repeat it. Um, Ronaldo on the ball, swinging a ball, and can we get the goal back? Oh, I thought that. My realisation that I was saying stupid stuff would be rewarded by the FM gods, but unfortunately they've just kind of mugged me off again, as they as they do love to do every now and then. I say every now and then, but it feels like it's every other episode at this point, and it's it's not really stopping. I'm I'm sure it's because I've got a microphone hooked up and they're listening, but that that could be oh, two corners, boys. The first one I was content about, but two corners. I've never caught up, set up corner tactics, so maybe this is my own fault, but we've conceded two corners. Like, what, did you not learn from the first one that maybe we should, like, try and head the ball out? Like, it's, you'd think you'd be able to work that one out. I shouldn't have to spell that one out for you. We've got three centre-backs on the pitch, Garcia, Ramos, and Militao, and we can't head that out. What's going on? We better be scoring here. Darwin Nunes is in, oh, and he hits the woodwork, I mean, that would have been a very impressive strike if he did get into the back of the net, I'm not upset at him for not scoring it, but I really did think he was going to pull that one out of the locker, he couldn't do it, unfortunately, but we're still on the attack, Zaniol, oh, God, Zaniol, though, you're coming off, like, that is the single worst shot I've ever seen in Football Manager, that was so horrendous, I physically cannot keep you on the pitch, I can't justify it. It's unjustifiable. Bentico is also coming on. That was that was horrendous, mate. And I'm hoping that Hazard comes on and scores us the goal to win this game, as we deservedly deserve. But I don't think it's going to happen. 
as it's only a couple more minutes to go. Can we get this win? Can we get the points? Can we get enough to get it, get ourselves the best points tally that we've gotten in this entire series? I don't think we're going to, unless we score here. Final opportunity to beat Valencia away from home. It's the one team that we haven't beaten. It's the one team that we haven't beaten away from home. I should correct myself, but I believe it's the one fixture that we haven't won at all. I, I imagine we've won every single other fixture and we've just about lost it all. Garcia has cleared it off the line. We're definitely not coming away with an attacking opportunity. I thought that that was going to be ours. I've demanded more. It's a bit late with, you know, five minutes of additional time already gone. I, I swear I pressed demand more like five in-game minutes ago. But it doesn't matter. We've come away. No, it does matter, actually. Like, what am I saying? This is not a good performance. We have just completely dropped everything that we were aiming for. In this episode, we wanted to get two wins so that we could beat our points tally. That's not going to happen now. And we wanted to get our first win against Valencia away from home ever. That is not going to happen now too. All we can do is have our second best season. You know how boring that is? No one's ever gone to... I was about to say no one's ever gone to a movie because it's considered the second best of all time. I'd definitely go to see the second best movie of all time. So maybe you guys should keep watching this episode because it's basically the second best movie of all time. Well, even though there's technically nothing to play for here, and El Clasico is always something to play for. We want to get this win. We want to solidify ourselves as the champions. Let's jump into the final game of the season and let's win it. This is the team that we're going with. It is unfortunately slightly rotated. I would love to have the main man, Dybala, up in cam, but unfortunately still injured, as well as Bastonian centre-back, but this is still a pretty decent squad. We've got Nunes, we've got Ronaldo, we've got Zaniolo, we've got Sancho, we've got Casemiro, Camavinga, Militao, Ramos, Varane, Mendy and Courtois. A bunch of great players on the bench. This is the final game of the entire FM21 Real Madrid save. Next episode will be a recap, a review, awards for the series, so it's not over just yet, but this is the final game. Thank you guys so much for watching the series, and let's jump into the final game. It's an El Clasico, perfect way to end it. Let's make sure we end it perfectly with a win. It's a little concerning because we did draw our last game, but I am confident that we're coming away with the fat W here. We have a good squad. Taking a look at the opposition team today. I imagine they've still got Messi in there. He's had an amazing season. He's actually not in the squad. He must be injured or something because he's had an incredible year with lots of goals, lots of assists. But this squad is still pretty strong. I wouldn't say it's quite as strong as ours. And can we get off to an early start here as Sancho tries to swing in a ball? He's pretty high up for assists. So he'll be looking to get one more to end the season. I think he could. Oh, Zaniolo needs to be finishing that. And you have to say, if that is Dybala, that's going into the back of the net. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, Zaniolo. Coulda put your stamp on the last game of the entire series. Coulda made yourself a club hero. Coulda made yourself a channel hero. Couldn't do it though, could you? The pressure was too much. I'm just putting it out there, mate. Pressure makes diamonds, and clearly you're just a bit of cold. Nah, I love Zaniolo. He's been great in this series. I don't want to roast him too much. Ronaldo almost getting onto that ball there. Couldn't quite catch on to it, though. And it could be Barcelona on the attack now, but Camavinga comes in with his uh, French opponent being outdone there. And the ball over to Nunez can't quite find the back of the net in the end. It's a great opportunity for us once again, and we're definitely dominating the early position, the early gameplay, the early highlights. But they're just about scoring there as they come in with a shot. And that is probably putting me back down to earth a wee bit, you know, telling me. You know, it, this is Barcelona that we're versus in rack, so it's a, it's a decent squad. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. But we're back on the ball, and we know that Nunes can find space. He couldn't find space there, which was, you know, I can respect that. He's decided to play it back. And couldn't really get the shot away there. And Sancho's just run it straight out of play. That's not what I would have done personally. But I probably wouldn't be on a professional football pitch personally. So can't really say all that much. Militao to throw it in. We've had a lot of opportunities in this game. You'd expect to see a goal very soon. Varane playing over to Ronaldo. Can't quite get it to Nunez. But Mendy picks it up. Can we get our first shot on goal? That is going into the back. You know, a goal. Not, not, not a shot on goal that's going into the back of the net. It's not happened though. It's just a lot of nothing highlights. We've got 1.25 XG, 
but it's not translating into any clear-cut insane chances. That Zaniolo chance that we had early on was definitely the best. Can we get another one just before the end of the half? Can we actually get a goal before the end of the half? Ronaldo who pounces on a terrible throw from Ter Stegen. Seemed like a bit of miscommunication. And now we're in space. Now Nunez does score. And he gets his 45th goal of the year. This man is insane. Pick him up for your football manager saves. He is one of the best strikers I've ever used. I don't understand how. I honestly regretted buying him as soon as I did. If you actually play, go back to that episode where I signed him. I sign him, and then two seconds later say, did we really need him? Or something along those lines. Yes, we really needed him. He's probably my favourite player I've used in this entire save, but you have to find out who my favourite player in this save was when we go over the awards next episode. I don't know, is it going to be Nunez? I mean, he's probably going to be up there, let's all be honest, but I need to really ponder that one. But with 30 minutes to go, I'm refocusing my attention back to the game. And I'm thinking about who needs to come off. Zaniolo is probably going to be the first man on the list. Not had the best day at the office. And he's got to end this season, end this series on a bit of a low note. But he's still been a great player. He's someone that I brought in in the January transfer window as a bit of cover. And ended up being a starter. And has competed for first team spots since there. Done a really good job to break into the squad. And I think he is a great signing as well for your football manager saves. I can't recommend him enough. We got him for thirty million pounds as well. If you're like a mid-table squad in the in the Premier League, that's a ridiculous signing, and I can't believe we haven't gotten another goal there. Sancho running in on goal, couldn't do it. Ah, oh, I thought that Nunes was pouncing at the back post to get us two 0 up, but with twenty minutes to go, we're comfortable in this game. Just whether or not we're coming away with all three points in the end, because Barcelona could hit us on the counter attack at any moment, and unfortunately. Now we don't have Nunez. He's come off with an injury. I didn't want to bring him off, but maybe I shouldn't have bring him, brought him off. Ah, oh, no, Gabriel Jesus deserves a run around. I mean, I don't want to see Nunez injured in the last day of the season. He's picked up a knock. Gabriel Jesus will do well to run around for the last few minutes. And we're going to bring Camavinga off as well. Bring Bentecure on, Casemiro into that central defensive midfield. Right, it's not CDM, but I, I, I think it's a CDM because it's on defensive duty and with only five minutes of additional time surely we have wrapped it up surely we've won this game surely we have ended the series on a high by beating barcelona but the chances aren't over yet don't score here don't that have scored and i think that that sums up this season quite well you think that you're on top you think that you're doing brilliantly but just at the last moment it gets taken away from you and that, yep, that's that summed up the season perfectly. The save as a whole has been incredible, but this season, it's just not gone the way we planned. And we're going to give everything to try and get this goal back, get this win. But I don't think it's going to happen, boys and girls. I think that was a nail in the coffin, the last bit of dramatics from Football Manager to just rub a wee bit of salt in the wound that we haven't completed the challenge that I set for myself this season. But we're going to go out, all guns are blazing. Trying to score a goal, trying to get the win. Is it going to happen? Probably not. No, it's not going to happen, is it? Not happy with the performance. Nunes is demotivated. I couldn't care less, mate. We've won the league. Let's not get too disheartened. Ben Cure wants a new coach. Mate, I'm, I'm, I'm about to end the se season and the save. You're never getting touched again. But it's, it, it, don't worry about your contract. It's fake money, by the way. I hate to break it to you. It's not real. It's not real, but we have ended this series, this season, as the champions of the Spanish First Division. As the uh, semi-finalists for the Champions League. Who's in the final? It is Liverpool versus Manchester United. We won the Spanish Cup. We won, won the Spanish Super Cup as well. So we got the domestic treble. It's a pretty respectable performance. Not the best season of all time. And if we go to the player stats, we can see that there are some players that are definitely going to be winning some awards. Nunez, top goal scorer, with an average of a goal every 82 minutes. What a goal machine this man has been. And uh, Lionel Messi winning the assist award, but Sancho's not too far behind him. I'm sure we've got a couple of players who are going to be up there for player of the season, but we'll have to cover that in tomorrow's episode. That is all the time we have for today. I want to say a big thank you to everyone that has supported this series. It's not over just yet. As I've said about three times, that episode is coming tomorrow. 
but that is the season finale, the series finale. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to the Rexall FM channel if you are new. And I will see you all later.